What's up everyone and welcome to the one and only Potato Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Plays. My name is Parv and I invite you to take some time to watch some sick plays submitted by your fellow players that we've lined up for you. At number 5 we have Svetcha playing a misfortune and I'll toss a shout out to the Nunu that made it all possible. So as you can see, MF has been caught off guard. When suddenly an Ashera comes in and she starts to take some huge damage, but we see Nunu run into position as MF catches that, so she flashes over the wall, baiting them to run through the brush as Nunu starts his ult, followed by MF for the amazing 3 for 0 exchange wombo combo style. Scoring in a fourth place and coming from the top 15 in solo queue North America, we have Kinnick on Katarina. Right off the bat, we see Anivia lead in with Flash Frost, and right before Frostbite, she zonies the truckload of incoming damage as Vayne positions for a Condemn. But with quick moves, she shumpos behind Vayne so that she gets pushed away and slows her down with Hextech to get away. Two seconds to think while in Zanya's and a brilliant escape despite having no health. What a play. Coming in at third place, we have Diachi on Riven, and I fast forward the intro to this clip to show how long she's been hanging around Baron, as multiple enemy players have tried to fend her off, but she remains persistent. As things simmer down and the enemy Vayne heads back to do Baron, she comes back and waits patiently in the brush. Out of the blue, Mumu Bandage tosses in, so she stuns and begins kiting him around the bend as GP uses his ult. She then randomly turns around, spawning Baron's low health, activating her ult, and sending it through the wall to just barely steal it, despite the many distractions all around her. From start to end, she managed to hang in there for about a minute as the enemy team tried to stop her in any way they could, but with careful timing and great awareness, Diachi pulls off the clutch Baron steal and beautiful escape. Flashing her way into her number 2 spot for this week is Dreamy Ant on Cassiopeia, but don't blink for a second as she immediately flashes through the wall, landing a sick ultimate on 3 enemy players that were about to stomp on Warwick and Caitlyn. She chases them down, just barely landing her Q to maintain the movement speed required to snag the triple in an amazing turnaround play. And for our number 1 pro play for this week, we have Kia on Alistar, playing in a high elo bracket. As you can see, the enemy team has caught them off guard bottom lane, and Cassiopeia lands the slow down, but then Shivana ults in front of him, so he's going to lead it with headbutt to gain some distance, and then ult pulverizes, barely staying alive as they get away while Skyaz picks up the double kill. They then pursue the Cassiopeia, picking up three kills for Corky in an insane overall play by support Alistar. And the winner of last week's player's choice is Ponernot on Heimerdinger with If You Build It, They Will Come. Congrats again. As this clip plays, I just wanted to discuss some things that have caught our attention recently. With all the new people we have finally hired, we have decided that we are ready to move into some new segments and already have graphics being made for them. With this being said, a few days ago we posted on our Facebook that top 5 fails are coming and that we are psyched to finally have time to make them. It has been something we've been talking about and that has been requested from day 1 on our channel and that's why we are shocked to see that some of you guys were commenting for us to not do it. We are aware that there are other people that make top 5 fails for League and we by no means are trying to copy them in any way, we just feel that we can put an awesome Protein Monster spin on things and provide some more great content for our fans. If you're a longtime subscriber, you know that the idea of a top 5 fails has been in the works since the early stages of our channel and we are really excited to be able to finally make what you've been asking for for a while now. We didn't want to just randomly put out an episode and figured we would explain why we are going through with this new segment. With this being said, we are now taking submissions for top 5 fail episodes. Thanks everyone for your constant support and to voice your opinion or to show some support for the awesome new content we have coming for you guys, drop a comment down below. Thanks again, hope you enjoyed and have a great week.